Okay, folks, I have a uh, Philips 4K TV. Um, I've had it for a couple of years now. I bought it at like a Black Friday sale. I think it was at Walmart. I think I only paid like two hundred and ninety some dollars. This is a fifty-five inch Philips four or ultra high definition four K TV. Um, <clears throat> and I've tried doing things like watch videos on YouTube, and they only come in at ten eighty p. Uh, I even have a uh, uh, Xbox over here. You plug it in, it only picks up high definition. It doesn't pick up the four K. So I've been looking high and low trying to figure out why I can't get four T four K content on my TV. Well, originally, the way the TV comes from Philips, it's like turned off. So you have to manually go into the settings and turn it on, which is really bizarre. And I didn't understand why they would send it that way. And they don't even explain it correctly. When you find it in the menu settings, you don't understand how it's worded. It, yeah, whatever. I'm here to show you how to get your 4K to work on your TV. If you own a Philips TV, um, whether it's brand new or a couple years old, like I said, I bought this at Walmart on a Black Friday sale. And I was just just thinking, maybe I can't get 4K, even though it says ultra high definition 4K on the outside of the television here. All right, so let me show you real quick. Um, say I want to go to YouTube and I want to watch a 4K video. Uh, we're here. We're going to search. Uh, we're just going to search for. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see here, uh, any of these videos will be in 4K, uh, we'll just click on the first one, I can't play too much of the video because of obviously for copyright material, um, but I'm just going to show you what it shows on our options here, you come up here, right here, it's only showing it, the highest quality that I can pick for this video is only 1080p, and it's a 4K video, we all know that because it's clearly stated in the title. So I'm going to show you how to adjust your TV for it to actually come in in 4K on a Philips television. And also, if you go to your settings, I'm just using a Fire Stick for example. Um, even if you go into your settings, you come down to where it says display. My display. Okay, up to, okay, here. So my TV is only noticing that it has 720 or 1080p. Those are the only two options on my TV right now. It's not registering the TV as a 4K TV, which is a little bizarre. So, like I said, I'm going to show you how to make this adjustment on your Philips television. I'm going to switch to my other remote control, my actual my Philips remote control. <clears throat> From here, on the Philips remote, I'm going to hit the option button. I'm going to air over to the right where it says picture and sound. I'm going to hit OK. <clears throat> Now this options, I'm going to go all the way to the right to where it says setup. Click on the word setup. The bottom left corner here on this option is TV settings. We're going to go down to the bottom left to TV settings. Click OK. Now from this point, you go down to, you're going to arrow down to the word installation. Hit OK. We're going to come down to the second one here in the middle under preferences. Hit OK. Now we're going to come down to HDMI mode. Hit OK. For some reason, when it says legacy compatible, that means it's not going to play in 4K. All you have to do is on HDMI 1, which is the, the, you know, the first one back to your television, you're going to switch that to normal. There, my TV just restarted again or something. Okay, you want that to be to normal. I'm going to go to HDMI 2. Go ahead and turn that to normal. I'm going to go down to HDMI 3 and turn that to normal. Now all three of my HDI inputs are in 4K. I don't know why it doesn't come like that out of the box, but it's taken me a long time to figure out how do I get 4K on, an H on a Philips television. Um, I don't know why it's hidden like this or why they make it so hard, why they don't need to say turn HDMI or turn 4K on. That'd be so simple. But some reason they hide it like that. <clears throat> but now <clears throat> I'm gonna exit out of all this and now I'm gonna show you we're going to go back here to the uh, Fire Stick settings, show that it pulls up my TV. Let's see. Yeah, under settings, come down to display and sounds. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Now it recognizes, <coughs> excuse me. 
Now it recognizes the option of 720p, 1080p, now 2160 and 60 hertz. So now it recognizes my TV's option of 4K. So I'm going to show you that. Also, I'm going to come back here and show you a YouTube video that now picks up in 4K. We'll get back to the same video we were watching earlier. Happy, happy uh, well, there's a commercial. Create one of a kind moments with all new Hallmark Video Green Card. Okay. Back to the same video we were watching earlier. Here we go. Now, when I come to this, more options. Look at this. Bottom left corner, it says 4K 2160, and there it is. Um, same thing, I could show you the Xbox now picks up 4K instead of just being an HD. I'm excited that it took me this long to figure this out, but I'm hopefully, hopefully this, um, hopefully this video shows you how easy it is on a Philips TV to actually get 4K content through your HDMI, whether it's an Xbox, whether it's a Fire Stick, whatever you have plugged in, whether it's a Blu-ray player, you know, etc. Um, but all Philips TV owners, this works. Like I said, whether it's a brand new TV or whether the TV's eight years old, it works on all of them. Um, so hopefully this, hopefully this helps you out. If you have any more questions about your Philips TV, feel free to leave a question in the description below. I'll um, reply with an answer and or make a video for you and show you how to make an adjustment. But thank you very much. If you like what you saw, subscribe, like. I appreciate it. Thank you.